Sigma notation sucks. So let's do this question together. I'm going to show you how to break this down into steps. So we want to show that the sum from n to infinity of this entire expression is equal to 9 over 28. There is a formula that you're given in your formula booklet, which we can use to work through this. I've stated this in another video, but there is a step-by-step -step method we can use to kind of break this down. We want to start by writing out the first few terms. So if we plug in n equals 2, 3 quarters squared becomes 9 over 16. Cos of 180 times 2 it's just 1, so that's our first term. Our second term is when we plug in n as 3, so that becomes 3 over 4 squared, which is 27 over 64, times cos of 180 times 3, which is minus 1. And then the next term is 3 over 4 to the power of 4, which is 81 over 256, times cos of 180 times 4, which is just 1. So to simplify, that's 9 over 16, minus 27 over 64, and 81 over 256. This is a geometric series because we can see the sum to infinity. So let's start by plugging everything in. A is our first term, which is 9 over 16. R is our ratio. Now, every term goes up by a certain factor. You can calculate the factor by doing one term divided by the other, and that should give you minus 3 over 4. So let's plug everything in, which is 9 over 16 divided by 7 over 4, so we times by 4 over 7. These two cancel out, so that gives 9 over 28, which is our answer.